Here we are. Farglo. The place where our disciples become true dragon slayers. And today, the honor is yours. They are quite simple. Seek out the men and women who reside here and benefit from their knowledge. That may sound a bit vague, but don't worry. Farglo will explain itself. You'll have to see for yourself. Don't be so apprehensive. You'll be fine. This is a momentous step in every Slayer's life, but few have fared badly afterwards. Though I should very much like to enter the village again, I am forbidden to do so. Only once in their lives may Dragon Slayers enter it, as disciples. In any case, it would be imprudent to join you. This is a part of the journey each Slayer must walk alone. Not completely, no. After the initiation, we will head back to Rivertown, where the ritual will come to its conclusion. But let's talk about that on the Zeppelin when we head back, shall we? Good luck, Slayer. Another one to add to the collection. The disciple arrives. Let me bid you a fond welcome to Farglow, and I commend your patience. Most slayers loathe being referred to as a pupil. Such a belittling word, disciple, is, wouldn't you say, for one who has since the age of ten been groomed to become the elite of man's warriors. But don't you worry, you'll earn the title of Dragon Slayer soon enough. I presume Commander Rode has been rather cryptic about what you're supposed to do here, and I can't reveal much more. In fact, I have but one thing to add. Morgana is waiting by the waterfall. Find her, and the purpose of this day shall become crystal clear. The Archmage. She's an intimidating woman, to be sure, but ah, pleasant enough in her own way. Her laboratory is at the back of the village, next to the Divine Memorial Flame. And you, Slayer. Before daydreaming this, and I've got the feeling old Morgana will agree. No! To combine that brew with last night's herbal distillation might cause an implosion. Try it anyway. You can be so irresponsible sometimes. That's easy for you to say. You can't die a second time. Good to see you, disciple. I am Morgana, the Archmage of Farglow. Oh, everybody makes a bit of a fuss when a soon-to-be slayer arrives. We all have our fields of study and a good life to lead, but the village can get a tad dull now and again. But let's turn to the reason you are here, the ritual that will make you a true dragon slayer. To be a slayer is to hate the dragon, but also to understand it. No other order in Revelon takes the old military adage, know your enemy quite so seriously as the Academy does. To attain this goal, I will infuse you with the memories of dragons. It will make you understand their language, motives, powers, and weaknesses. It will also color your eyes silver, the noted characteristic of the Slayer, which will enable you to see the spirits of the dead. The ritual has a side effect, but nothing can be done about that. Then prepare to become a dragon's lair.
and that's that. You might experience some dizziness for a while, some disorientation, perhaps. The journey starts again, my friend. Your path is an empty page ready to be filled with tales of wonder, of adventure. But before you trot out of here in search of dragons and distinction, make sure you meet the veterans here. Alberic, Aravir, and Gawain know more about their trade than anyone you are likely to meet. And don't forget Isabel. The gift she will share with you, aside from the dragon memories, is the most prominent one you'll receive in Foglo. Divine blessing, Slayer. The last ingredient needed to achieve the effect of luminosity. I see you have met Morgana. That means we can proceed. Do me a favor and think of something, anything, but don't speak aloud. I'm flattered, but I'm afraid this is neither the time nor the place for frivolities and frolicking. Surprised? Surely you have heard of the gift of mind reading that dragon slayers possess. Maybe you have also wondered how they come by such an amazing ability. The answer is easy. I bequeath it to them. Of course, it is one of the reasons you are here. Now stand still and look into my eyes. There you go. The secrets of all shall be revealed to you. Be aware though, strong minds are difficult to read and come at a cost. So you will have to work on your skills if you want to perfect this art. Fare thee well, Slayer. <laughs> Sonia is so curious to see what's in that chest of mine. Little does she know, I hid the key near her little goblin campsite in the arena. And you, Slayer. Eyes shine brighter than they did before you came to Farglow, Slayer. Newborns have it tough, but they're not as helpless as actual infants. You'll regain your talents quicker than you may think, and I can help you with that. Gawain's the name. Old Paladin of the Divine Order. My life has always been that of the Blade. It is an art I will teach you, should you want me to. Excellent! I'll give you the warrior powers and a sword. Find Sonya. She provides the live targets around here. Shiny. Look at you. Not a scar on your rosy skin. You're a newborn if ever I saw one. Ah, nor should you, but you'll soon find out they'll get battle-worn again pretty quickly. The best thing to do is to get back in the saddle as quickly as possible. Just say the word and I'll give you something to fight. Always welcome, Slayer. Welcome to Farglow. Oh, poor Gerald. He's such a ferocious reader and has read every book in town. 
Next time I travel to the city, I must remember to bring him back some new ones. Bye, Slayer. What's that I hear? The sound of a newly stocked coin purse? Oh, let's trade then, Slayer. Really? My, I, I haven't read this work yet. Oh, what a stroke of luck this is. Well, you'd think that with so many great minds about, there'd be more to read in this place. Finally, I don't have to spend the evening listening to those veterans' big heroic stories for the thousandth time. Thank you, Drag. My prices may be steep, but who can blame me? It's not like I'm vending on Rivertown Market. Don't I know it, Slayer? Don't I know it? But what can I do? I run a small business. Tell you what, though. I'll give you, and only you, a special discount. So spend some extra oh, music to my... Shiny. You have your gear. Very well.
another one to add to the collection. You look more than ready to head back to the Academy Slayer. But remember, you may only have one of the veteran's spells on you when you leave. So choose wisely before you depart. Finally, you're here. I apologize, but I'll have to extend my congratulations later. Moments ago, we received word. A dragon was spotted in Broken Valley. While this surely is exciting news, the timing is less than perfect. You were supposed to do a ritual that would channel the dragon memories, which is extremely important for your health and that of your surroundings. If we postpone it for too long, you will go dragon wild, and the ones that survive that terrible affliction spend the rest of their lives in deep dungeons, eating their own tongues and clawing out their eyes. Horrible though that prospect may be, the dragon takes precedence, so I hope we'll be able to improvise along the way. I see you're equipped with a sword. You're sure you want to face our foe as a warrior? The destiny of the dragon slayers shall come to its conclusion at last. Quickly now, all aboard! Right. Time to start the hunt. Marius, you will lead the preliminary search of the valley, but warn me before engaging the dragon. I will notify the local officials of our arrival. Once you have any information, come and find me and we'll head out. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Good. This will be a day to remember, Slayers. Now, hop to it. Not so fast, my eager newborn. Your mental state is still highly volatile, so I'm keeping you on a tighter leash. Don't worry. I have an assignment for you as well. Enter the town and ask the villagers about the dragon. Some are bound to have seen it. I'll most probably be in the barracks. The local captains and whatnots always want to talk to slayers. Makes them think they're grander than the peasant sitters they are. <laughs>
Good day, Dragon Slayer. Welcome to Broken Valley. I'm telling you, I saw it with my own two eyes. It's boss, you're having me on. I swear. Hello there, Slayer. Very good to see you. I've got me something to tell you, Slayer. I've seen a dragon. Oh, for Pete's sake. Never mind him, I know what I saw. Last night I was looking out my window and I saw this great big beast in the sky. Right scared I was, so I hid in the closet. Way back in the valley. Now go get the bleeding bugger slayer, that's what you're here for, right? Never have I met such disgusting, such perverts. Funny is a perfectly nice name, whatever the connotations. Here are your beers again, sirs. Tell me, pretty. You in charge of the bedding, too? No, no, I I'm just a waitress. Then why don't you wiggle back for some more ale, eh? Hoddy, sweet cheeks. We're thirsty over here. Another one to add to the collection. Hello, Slayer. You're the first one to dare show his face here since them Seekers walked in. You mean you'll do something about them? Oh, that's fantastic! Lord Blair here, or Blair something. You knew what now? You making fun of my mother, eh? Cause she is a good woman, not like uh, Kitty over there. Cindy, was it? Here, save my drink. I'll finish it. <gasps> After I wipe the floor with this mongrel. Seekers! What in the name of the Divine is going on in here? Sir! Well, sir, we... <laughs> you blind drunk! This is an outrage! Slayer, tell me what transpired here. Male bonding? Looks more like male mayhem to me. I see. Perhaps I should turn a blind eye to this blind drunkenness for once. Seekers! Report to the barracks at once, so the innkeeper can clean up the mess you've made. Off with you. We can talk further in the barracks. I'm heading there now. Ha! <laughs> the lieutenant sure gave them an earful. And you kept your word. I'll make sure my prices drop each time you happen to fancy some of my wares. Elsa and I are right grateful. You're always welcome in the Black Boar. What can I do you for? Hope to see you again soon.
another one to add to the collection. <clears throat> Check my storage for rats. So many of them in there. I use them as a password. A slayer? Hmm. The title is impressive, but from the looks of you, you've never seen a dragon other than in books or on tapestries. You see that giant boar's head mounted over the hearth? That beast terrorized the valley and claimed the lives of many huntsmen before I killed it some years back. And that is what makes me Rivalon's best hunter. Off with you now. I don't enjoy conversations with amateurs. It's stuck. Swords, maggots! Faster! Oh my, you startled me, citizen. The drill sergeant will kill me if he finds out I lost my mace. It must have slipped from my hand near old Jackson's farm. I remember holding on to it before I reached the place. I guess you could say that. You'd be too if you'd seen what I saw. A dragon, down the valley. Large as a house it was. Nearly scared me to death. I need to breathe for a bit. Excuse me. Shiny. Another one to add to the collection. Good lord, not another I think I lost my cellar key last time I saw Dana in Tim's barn, but oh, it was worth it. And I have to... <clears throat> what are you coming around here for, if you'll not help me? I enjoy gloating, fellow. You should try it sometime. That's yes, miserable mun. Ah, bet you. You've never felt affection for a thing in your life. That's right, Folo. Hey there, Dragon Slayer. I'm Richard of Aladoth. Care to make some extra money? These peasants are so gullible. The hearts they fetch me are worth three times as much back home. I specialize in tracking down and exterminating goblins. Obviously, there are plenty of the little bastards to go around, so I'll pay you for every goblin heart you bring me. That's the spirit! Bring me the hearts, and coin will follow! Welcome, traveller. I am Lamotte, travelling merchant. Whatever it is you need, I have just the thing. Boy, business is slower than an octogenarian slug. Come again. Hey there, Slayer. Can I interest you in some fine American wine? A 
another one to add to the collection. Another one to add to the collection. Another one to add to the collection. Shiny. Another one to add to the collection. Guard's back, didn't you? The man upstairs. He's not a miller. He's an alchemist. But he's not as good as I. Abba Nayaba. Oldest alchemist in the river. I stay here, rooted underground. Protected by Buad, who came here some 70 years ago. He pretends to be a baker. But in secret, he and I explore the powers of plants and the elements. Oh. Something about a contract on his head? You'll have to ask him about that. With pleasure.
this old miller can do for you. Shh! Who told you? It was the tree, wasn't it? Curse that heap of talkative timber. I am the unfortunate victim of a hunt. A hunt by assassins. Oh, nothing like that now, unfortunately. At least then, I'd have thought it worth the sacrifice. Many years ago, I was a famed alchemist in the town of Verdistis. Until one day, I was approached by a member of the Assassin's Guild. They ordered me to cure a sick member of their guild, and I tried to. But I mixed the wrong herb in his tea, and he died. They swore revenge. I fled here. But I think they finally tracked me down. You will? That's very kind of you, Slayer. But I don't know what you can do. I have the feeling I'm being watched lately. So at night, I close down the mill and hope for the best. Even now, I still want to remain known as Upton to the good folks of this village. But if you, a Slayer, would be courageous enough to defeat these hired killers, the reward would be great. Welcome to our town, Slayer. I'm Linder, the miller's daughter. You know, my father confided in you. Oh, I'm so glad he did. A Slayer can help us, I'm sure. But I don't know what to tell you. Maybe the assassins have been around, but we hardly venture outside anymore. Perhaps some of the other villagers saw something if they went outside at night. I know Roman the priest likes moonlight walks, and Folo's wife Rose has trouble sleeping sometimes. Captain Rodney usually stays up late as well. I'm so sorry I can't be of more help. Please, Slayer, look into the matter, would you? My father is very dear to me. You look quite pale. Welcome, Slayer. I am Romon, priest of the New Order, and I'm looking for an experienced warrior. So it seems. Let me tell you something about this valley. Once it was the home of a mighty dragon lord, long before the divine had fallen. This dragon knight was slain, though I do not know by whom. His spirit, however, survives to this day, and dwells in his now ravaged tower. I am very interested in the unique magical items that... I, I dare not enter it myself, however, and would like you to scout this ominous structure. I hope you'll find something of interest. If you do, please let me know. Dear me, no, should I have? I'm sure I would have noticed if there was anything suspicious going on. Dear me. May you always enjoy the protection of the angels. Another one to add to the collection. Welcome to me home, Slayer. Hmm. I don't know. Let me think. I did see some weird characters round the old mill, now that you mention it. Skulking about they were. Keeping in the shade, like. Don't know what that was all about. But I heard them whispering, saying they were going back to the burnt chapel in the valley. And that's about it. Aye. Bye. Slayer, please listen. I'm in desperate need of help. It's me pigs, you see. The new order impounded three of them. But they're not pets and, and were never intended to be eaten. 
Oh, bless you, Slayer. The pigs are over at Jackson's farm. A whisper, a rosebud in Mark Kevin's ear, and they'll move to a safe location. Have you read History of the Dragon Knights? A fascinating read. Another one to add to the collection. That hurt. up here. Haunted by goblins. They took my grappling hook. Please get it back. Marvellous. Use a potion right about now. I could use a potion right about now. Great work! The grappling hook is right over there. Good. Finally, I'll be able to get off this tower. Grappling hook. Please throw it up to me. Got it. Thank you, Slayer. Those goblins would have gotten to me eventually. Normally I can handle them, but this time it were different. We always scout the woods in teams of two. But we were ambushed by an unusually fierce and organized pack. Didn't make it. He panicked and ran off, leaving me to face them bloodthirsty creeps by myself. I managed to get up the tower, but I lost the grappling hook in the process. That was several hours ago. 
The coward obviously didn't even warn the other guards. You can say that again. We'll give you the pleasure of confronting him. His name's Peavy. You can find him in the barracks watch platform. I'll inform Captain Rodney. We'll have the little pest in shackles in no time. So good to see you! Here come, you must have a look at what I sell! Or, or do me a favour maybe. It's not but a small matter, but it nags me, you see. I recently paid one of the guards for a rabbit he'd shoot for me, but he never delivered it. And I get sentimental when I lose money. You look like the type one doesn't play games with. <laughs> Talk to the man about it, would you? His name is Keen. I will buy with them, sell with them, talk with them, walk with them, and so following. As long as at the close of the day, I am richer than I was at dawn. What? Oh, it's not... Is there something I can do for you? I desert and flee to this little village only to find a champion here. And not any champion, but Richard. He'll kill me if he should find out. Divine, you know. Please don't tell a soul that I'm as good as dead and extorting Slayer. I... Listen, I'll give you my champion gauntlets. They were made by Wesson of Alarok, a great armor smith. So it all came to me. I paid you. Shiny. Good to see you've arrived safely, Commander Road. Wanted. The following memory. Ring his mask. Ring his ring. Ring his star. As ring his sword. As ring his necklace. You walk away. Welcome, Dragon's Lair. If your duties do not keep you too busy, might you consider helping me out? Capital. This is the situation. A sizable group of outlaws has been targeting merchant caravans these past few months. So far, we've not been able to locate their hideout. Even so, we did manage to capture one of the louts some days ago. Neither threats nor torture can convince him to share what he knows. So, we need to deal with him otherwise. I want you to help him escape. Please hear me out. All you have to do is go to the burnt-out chapel down the valley. There you can find a hidden switch that will open a tunnel that leads right into his cell. He's put in that cell for a reason. It gives access to an old and complex escape route dug by the town's soldiers many years back. Getting this bandit out will surely earn his trust. After the escape, hear him out. Convince him you want to join the highwaymen. The rest is self-explanatory. Fantastic. Good luck, Slayer.
You as queasy as I am. Nah. But I've never been more acutely aware of my skull. Buck has a Thanks for not ratting on us back in the tavern, Slayer. We will, Slayer. If only to make sure Lieutenant Lewis doesn't have our hides. To repay you, I'll share some information. You know the graveyard near the chapel? There's a hatch there that leads to a crypt. We know the Lieutenant uses it for storage. He often forgets to lock up. So you're bound to find something there that you'll get some ready money for. What should I do? What should... Oh, Slayer, I didn't see you there. Oh, no, nothing. I was just muttering to myself. What? You... you know? Oh. No, it's just... The goblins. There were too many of them. Too I'm many. a horrible man. I deserve no pity. Woe is me. What a black day this is. PV, you are hereby under arrest. I... I guess there's no other way. Let me just say, I'm sorry, Quincy. I'd accept your apology. If you hadn't hoped I'd die out there so your cowardice would remain a secret. Take a good hard look at the daylight, Peavy. You won't be seeing it again for quite some time. Off you go. I'm supposed to be training soldiers! Satisfactory outcome. You have my warmest thanks, Slayer. Here's a handful of well-deserved gold. Be careful out there. Make sure it won't become Goblin Loot. <laughs> ah, you're back! What news? Good show! Let's have them! And here's your money! I'd spend it on drinking girls, but that's just a suggestion. Where did you hear that? All right, all right. I'll pay you in full. The goblin hearts are the most lucrative, but I do have another scheme in mind. See, Rivertown is struck by a famine, but Adoloth isn't doing much better. Well, damn the bellies in Rivertown, I say. They can starve in agony, for all I care. Adaroth is my responsibility, but that blasted New Order only has eyes for that two-bit town. They've been collecting food here all week. Well spoken. The food stocks are stored at Jackson's Farm. Go there, get rid of the Seekers, and inform my associate Mouse. You can find him on the right side of the valley between Jackson's Farm and the ruined chapel. Good luck! Good lord, not another slayer. Stop. I get. Mmm, not... Nice. 